In tonight's ransom note, getting your message straight. It's important when you're the state's largest school district, but apparently got lost somehow in a controversy last week. It's over this painting, which has been hanging in the main foyer at Southwind High School. SCS said it would be, had, had been hanging there for more than two years. But for whatever reason, the picture of a muzzled President Trump and an ashamed Statue of Liberty started spreading like wildfire on social media late last week. On Friday, we asked SES for a statement. At 12.07 p.m., SES indicated it was unconcerned about the swirling controversy, then copy and pasted an old email from last year supporting a student's right to free expression and said the painting was staying put. Fifteen minutes later, Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders sent a follow-up email asking if SES had a policy about what is acceptable artwork and what isn't. Did the principal have discretion? At 2.53, SES sent a new email. It did not answer any of Brad's questions, but did say the artwork had been removed in the interest of safety because, quote, the principal received a threatening phone call following a social media post about the painting. Well, that got our attention. We wondered, what did the caller threaten? Whose safety was in danger? At 5.56 p.m. Friday night, the sheriff's office told us no report had been filed. Well, today, the sheriff's office said at 8.58 this morning, SCS contacted them, saying a caller did call the school frustrated about the artwork, but there was not a threat made, and a memo was taken. No report was filed. The whole thing is raising even more questions tonight, and we hope to have some answers tomorrow. Join the conversation by email or my Facebook and Twitter pages.